Imagine being in a traffic jam that lasts for literally years on end. These are the traffic jams that put your traffic troubles to shame. Here are the top 15 worst traffic jams in history. Number 15. Don't mess with the lions. While lions typically keep their distance from us humans, this certainly wasn't the case when in January of 2019, a group of four lions held up traffic running through Kruger National Park in South Africa. That's because rather than wander across the park's vast swaths of land, they instead decided to travel in formation down the road. And due to the fact that motorists were too scared to honk at them, they simply followed along slowly behind them. On our end, we think that you'd agree that this traffic jam sure must have been a little frightening for everyone involved. Number 14. The Tokyo Traffic Jam On August 12th of 1990, motorists were in for a treat when they got stuck in a massive 15,000 car traffic jam. That's because this traffic jam, which occurred along a 135-kilometer stretch of highway between the Hyogo and Shiga prefectures in western Japan, occurred thanks to both thousands of people coming home after a major national holiday known as Oban, or the Festival of the Dead, and thousands of people fleeing Tokyo thanks to a typhoon warning. The result was that traffic then slowed to a complete standstill for hours on end. Number 13. 9-11 all terrorist attacks are known to cause mass destruction in their wake. Few realize that some of the residual effects can cause these already terrible situations to become even worse. One of the most common are traffic jams, as in their wake, many try to flee the city that the attack takes place in out of fear for their own safety. As such, when terrorists attacked the World Trade Center on September 11th of 2001, the roads leading out of New York were almost immediately jammed up with vehicles trying to desperately escape. And although some lanes were eventually cleared up so that emergency vehicles could pass, the gridlock ultimately remained for days after the incident. Number 12. Lyon to Paris As far as French cities go, few are as renowned as Paris and Lyon. And be it their stunning architecture, amazing food, or historic sites, there's little to not love about the two. However, this popularity has not always been a good thing, and such was the case in February of 1980. That's because it was during this time that a massive traffic jam was caused thanks to the end of the winter holidays coinciding with some extremely bad weather. As a result, when considered in tandem, the effects led to cars being stuck bumper to bumper for an incredibly long 175 kilometer long stretch, which for reference is even more than the distance between New York and Philadelphia by car. As a result, it stands apart for being one of the worst traffic jams in modern history. Number 11, the COVID complication. COVID-19 has far-reaching effects into the lives of many worldwide, but one major place where many did not anticipate its impact was on border congestion, with the African continent being one of the hardest hit by this issue. That's because the majority of African nations closed their borders following the outbreak of the virus, and although the movement of goods has been allowed to an extent, they need to test every driver coming in and out of each country, has led to massive delays at border crossings that already often took many days to cross due to corruption and administrative barriers. One of the worst cases occurred on the Kenya-Uganda border, where the Kenyan side experienced a backup for nearly 50 kilometers behind the Malaba border on May 27th of 2020. And although this jam was eventually cleared, it was certainly a major annoyance for all the truckers involved. Number 10. The Berlin Wall Traffic Jam It goes without saying that the fall of the Berlin Wall was one of the most iconic events in history, as it brought together a divided Germany and marked an end to Soviet rule. However, while officials certainly anticipated that people from both sides of the wall would try to reconnect, what they didn't anticipate was how busy the road would get on the Easter holiday, the year after the Berlin Wall fell in late 1989. That's because despite the road typically seeing about 500,000 cars passing over it per day, on April 12th of 1990, that number surged to an incredible 18 million, with almost all of them attempting to cross from east to west. The result was a massive day-long standstill of bumper to bumper that must have been extremely frustrating to sit through. Now, what is perhaps the most interesting about this incident is that it's since been awarded with the Guinness World Record for the longest traffic jam ever due to the sheer number of vehicles that were on the road. And on our end, we doubt this record will be broken anytime soon. Number nine, the Woodstock traffic jam. As far as traffic jams go, few are nearly as iconic as the one that took place in Bethel, New York between August 15th and 18th of 1969. That's because this was the infamous traffic jam that led to Max Yasger's famous 600-acre farm, which was the site of the Woodstock Music and Arts Festival during the so-called Summer of Love. 
Now, it goes without saying that Woodstock was the place to be, as the likes of Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and The Who all performed to the 500,000-person crowd. However, this 500,000-person crowd was not only more than 10 times larger than what was expected by festival organizers, but also the cause of a four-day-long traffic jam on the 30-kilometer-long stretch between Monticello and White Lake, New York. That's because rather than sit and wait to get to the farm, many festival goers simply opted to leave their cars on the road and walk to the event, making the thought of passing through this stretch nearly impossible. And while the musicians themselves were able to get a helicopter ride down to Woodstock and thus make the entire event a success, state troopers were stuck in the hopeless situation of trying to dissipate the traffic. However, once all was said and done, most would agree that considering how iconic Woodstock was, its resulting traffic jam was certainly worth it. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Chicago Snow Snowstorms have the potential to delve out some serious damage, but few can claim to be quite as bad as the one that battered Chicago in February of 2011. That's because not only did it dish out 110 km per hour strong winds, but also caused snow to fall at a rate of about 5 cm per hour ultimately leading to a 50-centimeter tall pileup. And while being on the road in a storm like this is all but unthinkable, motorists in Chicago were in for a surprise when the city's Lakeshore Drive was backed up for 12 hours thanks to the snow. That's because not only were the driving conditions terrible, but a total of six accidents had occurred on the roadway in the span of just a few hours, leading to massive delays. To make matters worse, the cold temperatures caused many to have to be sent on warming buses to nearby hospitals. And due to cars idling in order to stay warm, many ran out of gas and were therefore stranded on the highway. As a result, some people ended up just abandoning their cars altogether, opting to walk to mobile warming stations rather than wait out the storm. However, after about 12 hours, the conditions finally began to improve, and those who had been stranded were slowly able to make their way home. Number 7. The Klondike Gold Rush while lines of people usually aren't considered to be at the center of most traffic jams, such was the case for those who trekked up to the Yukon in order to try to strike it rich in the Klondike Gold Rush of 1896 to 1899. That's because all of these gold seekers had no choice but to trek up the Shilkut Pass, which is a 275 meter tall hill that had to be traversed in order to pass between British Columbia and Alaska. However, the problem with this was that for a time, the pass could only be traversed via a 1,500-strong set of steps known as the Golden Stairs, which were so narrow that only one person could fit on a step at a time. As a result, massive traffic jams of a couple thousand people ensued between the base and the top of the pass, with the movement being extremely slow thanks to the steep and slippery nature of the staircase. This made for a ridiculously uncomfortable climb, and as such, a horsepower tramway was eventually built in order to bring wealthier gold rushers up the mountain. Thus, despite the trail being a lot less busy now than it was in the past, its infamous legacy has remained to this day. Number 6. The Brebes Backup Indonesia is truly a massive country, however, oftentimes it does not get fair credit for holding this honor. After all, with a total population of over 250 million, it's the fourth most populous country in the world. And as such, it should come as no surprise that it's no stranger to massive traffic jams. However, one of the worst ever occurred in July of 2016 at the junction for Bebes, which is a small town on the main island of Java, as millions of people headed home to celebrate the Islamic holiday of Eid al-Fatir, which is the celebration that marks the end of the month-long fasting that occurs during Ramadan. As a result, despite the traffic jam only being about 21 kilometers long, which is relatively short by this list's standards, the nature of it meant that there was barely any movement along the route for about three days. This led to catastrophic occurrences for those stuck on the road, with 12 reportedly dying to everything from fatigue to the noxious fumes coming from all the cars. As such, this traffic jam has gone down as one of the worst in Indonesian history. Number 5. The Sinai Situation All traffic jams can be caused for a wide variety of reasons. A full-out war is typically not one of them. However, that's exactly what happened when, in June of 1967, 15 ships from a variety of different nations unwillingly got caught in an eight-year traffic jam. How is this possible, you may ask? Well, the jam first began thanks to the Six-Day War, which led to Israel conquering the entire Sinai Peninsula from Egypt. However, the problem with this was that the Suez Canal directly separated mainland Egypt from the peninsula. And so, in order to stop the Israelis from using the canal, the Egyptians blockaded both ends of the waterway planting it with a number of mines, scuttled ships, and demolished bridges. Now, in general, this was a problem for world trade, as it forced ships to go around the southern tip of Africa rather than go through the canal. 
adding an additional 8,900 kilometers to their journeys. However, it was really problematic for the 15 ships that were still inside the canal, as they had absolutely no way of escaping. As a result, all of the ships decided to moor together at Great Bitter Lake at the center of the canal in order to wait out the conflict. However, due to the instability continuing in the region, the ships soon began to realize that they would be stuck there for the long haul, and thus began to create their own mini-nation. That's because rather than work in isolation, these ships which hailed from Britain, West Germany, the United States, Sweden, Poland, France, Bulgaria, and Czechoslovakia all began to work together. And despite the fact that they were on different sides of the ensuing Cold War, each ship would take on a different role, with the German ship providing church services on Sunday, the Bulgarian ship hosting weekly movie nights, and the Swedish ship hosting pool parties. In fact, in 1968, they even hosted their own Bitter Lake Olympics, with the Poles coming away with the most medals. However, soon enough, the shipping companies began to fly the sailors home and only maintain skeleton crews for maintenance. And while the wait was certainly long, by 1973, the conflicts in the region had been effectively resolved, and by 1975, the canal was once again in working order. And although one of the American ships had sunk thanks to a stray rocket, and the majority of the others had become unusable thanks to the exposure to the sand of the desert and the years of inactivity, out of all of the ships stuck in the canal, the two West German boats were still in salvageable condition. As a result, they soon left, and in May of 1975, arrived in the port of Hamburg to the sound of 30,000 cheering spectators. Number 4. The National Highway 110 Traffic Jam While your local traffic jams may be rough, we can guarantee that none have come anywhere close to the massive traffic jam that occurred on National Highway 110 in August of 2010. That's because this jam, which lasted from August the 13th to about the 25th between the China-Tibet Expressway, was not caused because of any particular accident, but rather was simply the result of too many cars being on the road. You see, the road was already chronically congested, but this was made worse on the 13th when several large trucks filled with road construction supplies were on their way to Beijing from Mongolia due to the lack of railway connection between the two areas. Because there were simply so many of these trucks on the road, the highway's capacity was reduced by 50%, thus creating a 100-kilometer long jam that was thousands of vehicles long. As a result, at points, some cars were only able to move about one kilometer per day, and because of the constant stalling, many broke down along the route, thus further exacerbating the problem. To make matters worse, a number of locals soon began to take advantage of the situation. They began to create mobile stores on bicycles in which they could sell products such as water, instant noodles, and cigarettes for as much as 15 times their regular price. However, the Chinese authorities soon stepped in and began to speed up traffic by not only allowing more trucks to enter Beijing, but by also asking trucking companies to suspend operations or take alternative routes. This ultimately led to the road being mostly clear by late August, thus putting an end to this infamous incident. Number 3. The Hurricane Rita Traffic Jam Hurricanes are generally considered to be one of the worst natural disasters out there, as they can lead to widespread destruction and massive death tolls in their wake. As far as hurricanes go, Hurricane Katrina is generally considered to be one of the worst in recent memory, as when it hit in August of 2005, it caused about $100 billion in damages and 2,000 deaths when all was said and done. As a result, when it became clear that Hurricane Rita was going to touch down in eastern Texas in September of 2005, people began to get worried. After all, it was slated to be another Category 5 hurricane. And with Katrina still fresh in people's minds, the majority of Texans wanted to evacuate ASAP. As a result, on September 21st of 2005, an estimated 2.5 million people flocked to Interstate 45 in order to escape the storm. This congestion ended up creating a 160-kilometer-long traffic jam along the highway that not only lasted for upwards of 48 hours, but led to heat strokes, fights, and even fires that killed over 100 people en route. Yet to top this all off when you consider that the evacuation plan was haphazard and that the authorities had not prepared any contraflow lanes or policies to keep gas flowing, it's no surprise that complete chaos ensued. However, the one good thing to come out of this situation was that once all was said and done, Rita was a lot less destructive than anticipated. That's because the storm ended up being only a Category 3 after it touched down. And while its 100-person strong death toll and $12 billion in damages was still quite serious, it thankfully was not nearly as bad as most people assumed it would be. Number 2. The World Cup Jam it goes without saying that the World Cup is one of the most anticipated sports events in the world, and as such, fans show up in droves to watch their favorite teams battle it out on the field. 
And while the influx of international tourism that occurs as a result is great for local economies, what it isn't so great for are local roads. That's because the sheer number of people can cause massive traffic jams, and that's exactly what happened in June of 2014, during the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, when a traffic jam began in the city of Sao Paulo, grew so large that it eventually grew to be 344 kilometers long. For reference, that's almost the equivalent of the distance to drive between Toronto and Detroit. Yet perhaps the worst part about this situation is that it could have easily been avoided. You see, the reason all this traffic became necessary in the first place was because the Brazilian authorities had failed to complete proper infrastructure projects in the years leading up to the games. For instance, out of the 35 urban mobility rail schemes that were planned, only five were completed in time, and one of the projects that was shelved was a high-speed highway between Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. To make matters worse, even beyond this traffic jam, a number of other traffic-reducing projects such as a plan to make metro lines between city centers and sports arenas was replaced in favor of providing buses and taxis due to this being a lot cheaper. As a result, the Brazilian World Cup has gone down in history as one of the least well-planned renditions of the tournament in recent memory. Number 1. The Russian Winter As you could probably imagine, snowstorms are a major cause of traffic jams as the lack of visibility and dangerous driving conditions they bring with them can leave drivers either stranded or traveling in a crawl for hours on end. However, a storm in November of 2012 took things to a whole new level when it caused a 10,000-car pileup that stretched for about 160 kilometers, occurring on the M10 highway which lies between the cities of Moscow and St. Petersburg in Russia. It left drivers stranded in sub-zero temperatures for about three days, and they were forced to not only idle their cars for warmth, but buy sausages, loaves of bread, and cigarettes from roadside cafes who were charging about 10 times the regular price on these goods. As a result, many of the drivers were extremely angry and began to call on the Russian government to do something to ameliorate the problem. However, thanks to the fact that the authorities have done very little to improve the roads since the Soviet era, there was little that could be done especially thanks to the fact that massive bottlenecks blocked off a number of towns and cities en route. Yet after the traffic jam cleared, Russian authorities got to work discussing a flurry of initiatives to avoid future problems, with one of them even including the mobilization of Russian military engineers to avoid similar traffic jams and aid stranded drivers. But of course, only time will tell if these initiatives will be acted upon or prove effective. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.